Good morning and welcome to the Drayway. Yes, you're 33 days away from voting for President of the United States. And do we have a complete and full show for you today? I mean, I have so much to talk to you about and I'm going to try to stay calm. I'm going to let you know I'm going to I'm going to I'm in a beautiful scene, a setting here. Some of you always ask where, where I'm sitting right here. Let me see if I can uh, just kind of give you the layout. You can kind of see in the mirror, I'm right next to the pool. And uh, I'm talking to you from there because it's supposed to keep me calm and relaxed. But I'm having a difficulty doing that today because Jack Smith's 165-page brief was released yesterday. And after reading it, all I can tell you is, you know, when whether you're a senator, whether you're a uh, the, the president or wh whoever, whatever branch of government that you're going to take place, you know, take a uh, place in, um, they, they, they read something out to you. They t you take an oath to the Constitution and to protect the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And after reading this brief, you can come to no other conclusion than Donald Trump is an enemy of the United States. And I don't say that lightly, but that is my opinion, that Donald Trump is a danger to this country. And he is exactly what, when, when you take that oath, he's literally the definition of the enemy of the United States. What he did what he is being indicted for, the four felonies that he is being indicted for, are so serious, so at the heart of what we are as Americans that he shouldn't be running for any office. Donald Trump today should be stepping down. And I mean right now. He has no business. And where? Where are Republicans? Where is your integrity? Where is your, where is your heart? How can you just stand by and read that brief? How can you sit there and read that and read the charges? He was indicted by a grand jury on, they saw evidence to indict this man. And these charges are so severe, you should step up immediately. You took an oath to protect the Constitution. And the Constitution is in jeopardy, 100%. That's not hyperbolic. That's not, oh, you're just, no. These, these charges are that serious. This man tried to change the election. This man, according to... According to the, 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 the brief, according to the evidence, was told, Mr. President, your vice president's life is in jeopardy. And Donald Trump replied, so what? So what? This is a foul, disgusting man. This is a bad, bad person that belongs nowhere near the White House. How anyone can still consider voting for this thing, and I, and I use the word thing loosely, how you can consider after, if you haven't read this 175 page brief, read it. And just remember a grand jury saw all the evidence and said, yeah, this guy, this guy committed crimes, criminal crimes. And all of us are just, all of us that are looking at this and going, wow, if you're thinking about voting for this, this thing, stop and do the American thing. Do the, do the decency that any American should do and read the brief because i don't know how much how much longer can you guys just sit there and go nah nah uh charge after charge after charge after charge after charge different grand jury after different grand jury after different grand jersey jury 
He's a criminal. He's a convicted felon. And he keeps committing crimes. And he's going to keep doing it. And for some reason, some of you are standing on the sidelines going, oh yeah, I can't wait to vote for him. I can't wait to vote for this guy that's a criminal, that commits crimes, that's being indicted again. And these charges aren't, these charges are at the heart of what makes our country so amazing. And for some of you just to dismiss it, I, I, I don't have words for you. I don't have words for you. I don't know how you can just dismiss this. And it really pains me that some of you just are so casual about it. When someone is attacking the heart of the United States, many of you just don't seem to care. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you, if, if you think I'm being too hyperbolic, say so. Let me know in the comments. But this is, this is after, reading, after reading that brief, I'm, I'm on fire today. I'm on fire because I'm like, so where is, where's a Republican at? Where? Where is one single Republican with, with the gumption, with the integrity to stand up and go, no, this is too much. This is enough is enough. I'm part of this party and I say no to that. I say, no, that's, that's wrong. We need to, we need to step up and make our party accountable to somebody like that. Who has the integrity? Who's man enough or woman enough to step up and go, no, this is wrong. And if no one's willing to step up, that tells me all I need to know about your party and just how weak everyone and your party really is. Anyway, welcome to the Dre way. I told you I was in that kind of mood today. Welcome to the show. We have a lot more to talk about. Please, in the comments, let me know what you think. And don't forget, if you have not subscribed yet, Please subscribe and just know we have a lot more to talk about. People always need uh, some type of help with a website. At, at, at the end of this, you're going to notice a template. I'm going to give you a free template to get your own website. It's absolutely free, no cost to you. The link is right at the end of this and get your free website template. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. I'd love to help you. Everybody's been asking me about the polls. And let me tell you, I don't care what poll you're looking at right now. I don't care if it's the Marist poll, Bloomberg poll, NBC poll, Fox poll. None of the polls matter anymore because people are starting to vote. And people are starting to vote right now. And over the next two weeks in a lot of different states, voting will be taking place. But voting is going on right now. And I can only tell you, based on the inf early information that we're getting, Democrats are turning out in huge numbers. So let me tell you how important it is. Whether you're Democrat or Republican, go vote. Go vote. I can tell you this right now. As a, If you're a Republican and you're going to vote, I can tell you you're going to lose anyway. <laughs> I can tell you that because without a question, Democrats are going to win Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. And there's nothing you can do about it. And that puts her at 270 right there. We don't need North Carolina. We don't need Georgia. We don't need Florida. We don't need Texas. We don't need Nevada. We don't need Arizona. With just those three states, she's at 270. The election's over. So Republicans, I hate to say this, but your vote's not going to count for much this time. Because Donald Trump is not a good candidate. And what Donald Trump really is, is an enemy of this country. So polls, yeah, I wouldn't be watching polls at all. What I'd be doing now is making plans. How are you going to vote? Are you voting on, on voter, voting day? Are you voting beforehand? Uh, are, are you getting together with friends to go vote? Decide how you're getting your vote in and just make it happen because this election is that important. 
And I know a lot of you want to talk about Texas. A lot of you want to talk about Florida. Look, Texas and Florida are nice to talk about. I truly believe that Ted Cruz is going to lose in Texas. I really do. Is Rick Scott going to lose in Florida? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, we're going to get more information in a couple of weeks. But as of today, I don't know. Is Florida going to turn blue? I don't know. But I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on simply winning this election, making Harris the first female president, Madam President, in United States history. And I think we're just 33 days away from that. And, and I want you to stop and think about that. We are 33 days away from seeing a president elect that is a woman. And I think the country can be very proud of that. I think the country can sit back and go, yeah, we did that. And now you'll have a female president in, in the United States and a female president in Mexico. And I, I'm just curious to see how all that all works out. I, I really am. I'm looking forward to a, a female president. So let me, again, let me know what you think in the comments. We have one more thing to talk about. And uh, remember, this is 33 days out. If you haven't seen some of the previous shows, take a look. And just remember, we're going to be counting all the way down to election day. So please subscribe. And if, and if you have subscribed, don't forget to leave a comment. Everyone's talking in the, in the last you know, 24 hours about the, uh, the strike. The strike, the strike, the strike, the strike. The, lo the longshoremen along the East Coast all the way down to Texas are striking. And I've been shocked by some of the comments because I want you to understand they, they don't have a contract. They lived up to their contract. They were offered a new contract and they said, yeah, that's, that's not good enough. So they rejected that contract and went on strike. But, and they went on strike because they don't have a contract. So I've seen a lot of people attacking them for some reason that they're being greedy and all this other stuff when you don't know anything about the job. You don't, you, you don't do the job. You know, I don't see if, if the job was so easy, if the job is so lucrative and so where's the line for people wanting to do their job? Where's the line? Where is it? Have you applied? Have you done the job? I know I don't want to be out there doing it. Uh, I've never applied for it because I don't want to do that work. But before you start attacking union members and let's let's remember what unions do. Unions protect your rights. They, they protect workers' rights. They, they make sure workers get the benefits they're entitled to. Because you've got to remember, the companies that they work for make billions of dollars. Billions. And it's because of their hard work that they make that money. It's because of their hard work that during COVID, they continued to work, even though a deadly virus was in the air. So let's, you know, let's just remember Unions have done great work in the United States. And a lot of the benefits that workers enjoy is because of unions. But attacking unions? Yeah, that's, that makes no sense. These people are just trying to get the very best wage they can. And that's what we all should be doing. We should all be negotiating for the very best wages. Because you know what happens when we don't negotiate? We end up like Walmart employees, taking the very bare minimum and a lot of them on food stamps because they can't even make a living wage. Is that what you want? Is that what you prefer? So what I'm saying is I just, let, let's not attack workers for trying to, trying to negotiate and get their best deal. Let's not attack workers. Let's not, let, you know, let's, let's not do that. You know, uh, I, I don't see many workers walking around with uh, m making rockets or, you know, spending billions of dollars. It's not like they're rich. They just want to support their families. They just want to do the best they can for the work that they do. Again, let me know what you think. Put it in the comments and please subscribe. And that's episode 33. Thank you for joining me. Of course, tomorrow, another episode will be just 32 days away from the election. But please, from me to you, Start making a plan now. We're, we're just a little over a month away from actually having to stand in line and vote. Make sure you have a plan together 
Make sure you call and hook up with a friend and take a friend with you to go vote. It's that important. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later. And thanks for joining me on the Dre Wave. I really do appreciate it. Thanks a lot.